I like how the music wasn't playing at all there. I apologize for the lack of, uh, the lack of ads, or the lack of ads, pfft, the lack of music. That's unfortunate. Um, and now, at the very least, I know when ads are playing. <laughs> I've done some, some OBS tinkering to, uh, know when that's happening. But, uh, uh, duck, yeah, we have some, we have some, uh, ducklings on loan for the next, uh, I don't know, four weeks or something like that. They're very cute. Um, camera over here. Camera. Okay. I like how just hockey's just sometimes don't work. There we go. And, uh, Morris, yeah, uh, thanks for reminding me to catch up with the Druid VODs. I'm sure they're just as painful to watch back as they were for me originally. That game does not want to be streamed. <laughs> it is a legitimate challenge. Anyways, we're not talking about that tonight. We're talking, uh, tonight about Sergeant Squidly Space Cop, um, which is an adventure game. Uh, that I saw on, oh God, I always, my brain always gets the name wrong. Press Engine, there we go. Which is one of the many sites I'm signed up for to try and get my uh, uh, grubby little digits on uh, games for us to try. Um, and uh, I was lucky enough to get a key for Sergeant Squidly Space Call from them. So this is me doing the whole spiel at the start about how, uh, how I got a key for them. So there we go. ASCASB. I, I don't. All space cops are space bastards. <laughs> Is that, did I get it right? Yay, I got it. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, I haven't run the game, so we'll see. Uh, it is, as near as I can tell, comedy, comedy driven and has uh, a lot of quirky crap going on in it, so uh, buckle up. I have no idea what to expect, but uh, they gave us, they gave me the game. I applied for the game, looked cute enough, so we're just gonna let it rip. Okay, it's windowed, not a, not a grease to, oh, there we go, full screen. Fantastic. Uh, okay, we're gonna do that. Then I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna do this. Well, cool. virtual camera didn't work either. Why is... It's weird. Uh, the game is freaking out. There we go. That was weird. That was very strange. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba -ba, go over here, click this. Okay, I've done all the things. Let's continue with the game. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Apologies, I didn't know I was walking into the loudest game possible. Uh, I don't know what was up with the Steam notification, but I was capturing screen mode as opposed to game mode from yesterday, because that's how I have to capture druids. Um, okay, hold on, options. Fucking background music volume. Can we just thank you? Okay. <laughs> okay, that was loud. And my slider, um, like my GoXLR slider, uh, was only like 70%. So this game is hella loud. So uh, brace the yourselves, everyone, if that's uh, if that's the case. Oh, wow, it's all stretched. What? Hold on a second. This is all wrong. Pop that virtual camera. Start this virtual camera. There we go. That was so weird. I'm having some weird technical issues today. All my hockeys just aren't working. That said, I'm just gonna do this real quick. There we go. All right. Everything's wrong. Everything's okay now. All right. 
Now where are we? We're playing a game. Employee self-assessment. Name, Squidly. Rank, Sergeant. Ability points? I have ability points? Why? Why? Okay, I don't know why it's flickering. It's very strange. Hold on. Okay, it's because I'm still in... Okay, for some reason that was back in scream. Everything's going weird. Everything's weird. There we go. Never played an adventure game? Uh, legitimately, this might be the first... What I thought was point-and-click adventure game. Uh, that came with ability points. So... <laughs> um... Okay, let's see. I'm struggling with the pen. Not my strong suit. I can do a uh, sport okay. I'm kind of a tough guy. I'll beat you in a fight. I'm mighty like a uh, raging bull. Okay. Is this the forearm for travel insurance? I didn't notice nothing. I notice things. A normal amount of them. I'm always watching closely. Nothing ever gets past me. Sherlock Holmes was a chump. Okay. Handiness. I think I've broken my pen. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I have uh, one on each arm. I've changed many a light bulb in my day. Uh, just point me to the duct tape and I rule with every tool. So what kind of what kind of squidly do we want today? Or do we just fire off the randomizer? Yeah, randomize? Okay. I don't... Surely that's... I don't know what the odds of that are. Okay, how about this? How many times should I hit the space bar? If Beanbot was in here, we could roll a d20 or something. No, I have to press the button. Mash for four seconds. Okay. <clears throat> One, Mississippi, two, Mississippi, three, Mississippi, four, Mississippi. <laughs> it's like the one unacceptable answer. <laughs> Give up. Okay, how about another four seconds? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. There you go. I'm strong, I'm investigative, and I can't fix nothing. How's that? Does that work for you? I wonder if I can earn ability points in this game, or if this is just me. Alright. Sure. <laughs> Ring, 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 ring. That's us. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. Hello, Squidly, um, apartment. Squidly speaking. Sergeant Squidly, sir. Officer Gorb here, police headquarters. The chief has requested you at the station ASAP. There's been a murder. A murder? What's that got to do with me? I'm just a traffic cop. Besides, I'm on sabbatical. That sounds like a case with Lieutenant Dex Beaglore from Homicide, not me. That's just it, sir. The victim is Lieutenant Beaglore. He was found dead this morning. Sweet Jeremy Crickets. He was the best cop in town. He was practically a celebrity. That means you're now the most tenured officer in the force. You're next in command. The chief has asked me personally for you to report to the head, uh, to head of the investigation. This gave my shot at the time. A case like this could make my career. 
I better be careful not to do it or say anything stupid. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. I have questions about the case first. We're thorough. Wait, wait. I have questions. Of course, sir. I'll answer what I can, but you really should yet check it with the chief for a full briefing. Where was he found? Maybe I can check out the crime scene. Lieutenant Beagler's body was found in the ganglands in a dingy alley. A terrible end for such a hero. Crime scene unlocked in the ganglands area. Okay. Was there anything else? Okay. Who are the prime suspects? So, who do we think did this? Lieutenant Beagler certainly made a few enemies in his career. All sorts of criminals would be glad he's gone. But it's not my place to speculate. The chief can probably give you more info. Okay. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. <sighs> um, where do you live? Out in the suburbs somewhere, I think. With his wife and kid. Oh, no. Ah, the suburban life, eh? That takes me back. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. We have baggage. That's no good. For a complex hero. <laughs> anyway, back to the matter at hand. Was there anything else? No. I'm on my way. I'll be at the station as soon as I can. Now, I should probably get dressed. Is there anything else I need to do before I leave? So, action and search and squiggly all take time. The current time is visible at the top left of the screen. Okay. Some actions will advance time by mere minutes, while others could take much longer. Be sure to keep an eye on the time. You can easily slip away from me if you're not careful. You are in Squidley's apartment, a cramped and dingy living space, haunted by the ever-present smell of milk long expired. <laughs> Fuck it. Just go to bed. <laughs> ending unlocked. Fired. Secondary ending unlocked. Depressed. The action you've chosen requires a skill check. Oh my god. These are used to determine if you succeed or fail a difficult task. Sometimes they may also be used to see if you earn an extra reward on top of your action. Am I... Hold on. Hang on. Am I playing... One of those choose-your-own-adventure books from, like, 1991? Is that what's happening here? Because it kind of feels like that's what's happening here. Each check relates to one of your three skills. You might be. It's, it kind of seems like it. Ability points, inventory, skill checks. It's got all the hallmarks. The real question is, can I die 900 different ways from seemingly innocent tasks? Are we playing? Yo, I hope so. <laughs> you know what? Me too. Um, like, are we playing D&D &D first edition? Or 5th edition, you know? Strength, investigation, and handiness. If your skill is greater than or equal to the target value of the check, your action is a success. If a skill check is green, the target number will be low, typically 1 to 3. If a skill check is orange, the target number will be in the middle. And if it's red, then it will be high. You won't see exactly what the number is until you make the check. Now you have the basics, let's make that skill check. So does that mean I'm Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I understand. So, if it's green, the dice roll will be 1 to 3. Like, it, it rotates through the numbers until it picks 1. And since my skills are... Those two skills are 4, I, I'm going to pass no matter what. If it's orange, uh, I could... Like, there's a chance of failure. And if it's red, I'm not likely to succeed. In some cases, I will just fail. So if I need a handiness check that's, like, orange or higher, I'm just hooped. Hey, what's this in the bottom of the wardrobe? Why, it's my old saxophone. I was going to practice this every day. I can't believe I forgot about it. Okay. Now, back to the matter at hand. Clothes maketh a man. Here you can change into any outfits you own. Some people will react differently to you depending on how you dress. Okay. 
All right, I'll put on my my police carapace. We're ready for a day of work. Okay, that cost 15 minutes. Now, do we practice the saxophone? You know, this would be a really good game for uh, like a Twitch plays. This will definitely come in handy. All right, practicing the saxophone. Time to let my musical spirit soar. Cool. All right. How much time did that take? That took an hour. <laughs> uh oh. The call looks like it's from my uh, my ex-wife, Mona. Absolutely not. No, thank you. You are in Squidley's apartment. All right. Uh, we're too busy to eat and get a snack. You're in the lobby of the Lone Bronco apartment complex, the tarnished bronze standard in city living for singles. <laughs> Check the post boxes. Do I have any mail? You stand in front of the post boxes of the Lone Bronco apartments, the bustling communication hub of this bachelor infested behemoth. Check the post box. Hmm. Let's see what we have in the old postal receptacle. There's a flyer for a restaurant, Luigi's v uh, Venusian Bistro in the uptown district. Looks fancy. Okay. What a haul. Old man Ricketts leaves. Okay. You stand in front of the old post boxes. Okay. I don't really want to steal somebody else's mail, even though it's very tempting. That's not police sanction stealing, so. All right. To the city. This is the overworld screen where you may travel to different parts of uh, Moontropolis. Each journey takes a certain amount of time. You must unlock each area before you can travel there. Your game will autosave every time you enter the overworld screen. You may also perform a manual save by pressing the escape key to access the menu. You can pass one hour of time using the wait button. You can retrie uh, review your collected items uh, using the items button. You can review the characters you have met by using the people button. If you think you know who the killer is, you can make an accusation using the Accuse button. You have until midnight on Sunday to solve the case. Good luck. Oh, dang. All of a sudden, super stressful. Uptown, Police HQ, The Burbs, and Ganglands. Okay. All right, let's go get chewed out by the, the, the police chief. Excuse me, officer. The Squidly. Sergeant Squidly. I'm Pibby Freeb with Moontropolis News. I'm here covering the Dex Beagler murder case. Okay. You've just changed your relationships uh, with somebody. This can happen if you do something that they either like or dislike. You should try re-asking them some questions. Their responses might have changed. Do you have any time for a quick interview? Sure. I've always got time. Huh. I've always wanted to be on TV. Excellent. Let's get started. Sergeant Squidley, what can you tell me about the circumstances surrounding Dr. Er, Dex Beagler's death? No comment. Do you believe that this killing was gangland related? Dex Beagler did make a lot of enemies when he infiltrated Big Mama Zod's alleged crime syndicate 10 years ago. It's a line of inquiry. Uh, we were taken very seriously, but we have no further details right now. I see, so nothing definite yet. A final question. With violent crime on the rise, what are the police doing about all of this? Just put my face on it. I'm heading into the murder investigation. I'm confident we will have our culprit soon. Well, it sounds like this case is in good hands. You heard it here first, viewers. Sergeant Squidley is heading up the Beagler murder investigation. I, 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 this may have been a mistake. Instantly, I have concerns about my decision. Didn't think that through very much.
Oh, one second. I'm playing a lot of buffoon based cops. Uh, it seems. Which I guess is better than true to life cops. <laughs> Give me one second here. There we go. <laughs> You're in the lobby of police headquarters. It's the hub of activity. All right, you know what? Let's hustle up to the chief's office. Um, you sent for me, sir? Squirrely. It's about time we got here. Don't you know there's a crime to be solved? Yes, it's Squidly, sir. Huh? What? Yeah, that's what I said. I presume you know why I called you in here. Beagler's dead and he was our best guy. Unfortunately, I should be doing this with like a cigar or something in my mouth. Unfortunately, we don't got a medium to help investigate his own murder, so you'll have to do. The media's all over this one. Jack's a real big shot. We need to nail this one real quick. I'm gonna give you till Sunday midnight to get this done. If you do it any quicker, great. Mm, that's a tight deadline. Get over to the gangland and check out the crime scene. If you haven't already. Sarlap is already there. You show you around, go check out Jack's house in the suburbs. His widow and kid give you a back talk. Slap him with this. Got a warrant. So why ain't you solving this yet? Get going. Yes, sir. You're in the office of the chief. The ever furious purple faced commander of the police force is planted at his oversized desk. Okay, I don't think searching the office while he's in here is a good idea. Uh... You know, let's go to the bullpen, see if we can find his desk. Maybe we can get some, some clues or stuff there. Uh, yeah, go to his desk. This is the desk of uh, Dex Beagler. He was the most famous cop in the city, and it shows. Awards and clippings of his exploits decorate the cubicle wall. Check the drawers. This drawer is locked on the key, unless... Should I try busting it open? Should we just kind of follow a rule of if there is a stat thing, I should give it a go? If there's a chance of success. If it makes sense. Does it make sense to break it open or maybe I can find a key? I don't think busting open the dude's desk at work makes sense. That is a nonsensical act to me. No coffee cup. It's empty. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, hell yeah. Gonna get myself a free donut. It's a loyalty card for the Krusty Donut Cafe downtown. It seems Dex was a regular customer. Maybe there'll be evidence there. Or yeah, I can claim his free tenth cup of coffee. Why not both? It's a photo of Dex Beagler with his family. There's his wife, Doreen, and his son, Dex Jr. I remember when I had a happy family like that. Jesus. Okay, check out the award. Detective of the Year. Dex won this back in the day when he busted Big Mama's odd. She was a real piece of work. The most wanted criminal in all of Boontropolis. But she was very careful. We couldn't pin anything on her except Dex. He infiltrated a crime syndicate and caught her red-handed. He practically became a celebrity. Awards. A promotion. TV appearances. They even put him on recruitment posters. Of course, then Zod managed to slip out of it, of it at the tribe. Now here she runs a nightclub now in the ganglands. Oh. It's all history now. Alright. Fire up the computer. 
Well, we're definitely not doing that. <laughs> there's, there's literally no chance of me hacking the computer, so. Okay. Let's go to my desk. See if there's anything useful I can I can claim here. You stand before Squidley's desk. It's a disorganized space, partially coated in weak old strawberry yogurt. A malnourished cactus stands watch. Check the drawers. Oh, that seems useful. Phew, I mean, of course. My badge exactly where I knew it was. Now you can present it in court, yeah. Uh, let's check using the computer. Online dating. Check the news. The city is in shock today. Oh, wait, I have a voice for this, don't I? Is it this one? Is it this voice? No. Is it the... Uh... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Hold on. Turn all the dials back to normal. There. Aha! The city is in shock today, and after a body discovered in the ganglands last night, it was confirmed to be that of decorated police officer Dex Beaglaw. Beaglaw rose to prominence ten years ago when he had an undercover operation to expose the alleged crime syndicate headed by Big Mama Zod. After Zod's very public arrest, the city went through a period of Beaglaw mania, with the lieutenant becoming a poster child for the police force. Unfortunately, celebrations were short-lived as Zod was later acquitted on legal technicality. Lieutenant Beaglaw is survived by his wife Doreen and son, Dex Jr. <laughs> Why is it infinite? Infinite energy sources were long thought to be a scientific impossibility, but that is not necessarily so, says Dr. Rena Speckle. The respected scientist has been working round the clock at Moontropolis Research Lab to bring her black hole generator online. When operational, this machine promises to provide enough electricity to power the city of Moontropolis several times over. Then Dr. Speckle doesn't even plan to charge for the privilege. Free energy should be the right of all citizens, she said in a letter to the press, and soon we will have enough for everyone. From household devices to hospital equipment, every machine in the city will run for free. It will be the end of Vortex Inc.'s electricity monopoly. Final tests on Dr. Speckle's generation will take place this Thursday at Metropolis Research Laboratory. Okay. That surely won't get sabotaged. Email. To Sergeant Squidley from Mona Milton this week. Hi, Squidley. I was wondering if since you're on sabbatical this week, you can take the time to reconnect with Milton. He's been asking about you a lot since the divorce, and I think some time together would do you both some good. I can have him ready for collection at my house each morning at 8, if that suits. Ooh. Ooh. No. <laughs> Remember that phone call I just ignored? <laughs> Awkward. I'm a good dad. <laughs> oh, look at that. I now know an ad is starting in 52 seconds. That's useful. Of course, no problem. I'd love to see you. I'd love to see you Monday. Fuck. To Sergeant Squidley from Highness Chlorbeck the Third, business proposal. Hello, kind Squidly. I am His Highness Glorback III, the deposed Emperor of Titan. I have heard you are a good man. I approach you with a business proposal. When I was forced to flee my palace, I had a large sum in Bank of Titan in a secret account. To access this sum of 25 million, I require the assistance of a kind and trustworthy assistant. I believe you meet this description. This is like word for word one of these. If you are agreeable to help me, I can promise you a commission fee of 40% of the total amount paid to you in cash on my arrival. All that requires to confirm your assistance is an advance of investment deposit of 150 cent by online money transfer. With this cash, I may pay the processing fee of the bank and retrieve the money. I look forward to working on this fortunate venture. Your loyal servant, Thorback the Third Highness. I need you to know how tempted I am right now. 
I really need you to understand how tempted I am to just do this because I can absolutely see the bait and switch in this game of sending this and it actually paying out. Is the police due to help the citizenry? He's he's not our citizenry though. Um, however, I'm going to decline. And the reason I'm going to decline is because we have an investigation of four. We're a good thinker. Like, if the stats were different and my investigation was low, then I would lean into the narrative uh, for this. Sorry, is his name Squidlord68? <laughs> Age is just number, height is sexy, location. Downtown premium, oh my god. Ah, traffic fines. The bread and butter of my working day. Okay, I'll be at that. Okay, talk to the officer guy. Good day, Sergeant Squidly, sir. What are you doing back here? Does your normally work reception? Sorry, sir. I know it's unprofessional, but did you see that reporter, uh, Pippi Free, out there? She's a real shark. I'm hiding back here so she can't corner me. Thanks for the warning. Not so much work outside. Uh, so, are uh, you up to how much outside work? Not much, sir. I like to head down to the Gigantaplex now and then to catch a movie. They've got a marathon of Mars Man movies on this week. I'm trying to see all of them. Sounds fun. Maybe I should try that. You should. It's right on Central Street downtown, not too far from here. Officer Gorb is now available to date on Flinter. Oh, okay. All right. You just unlocked a potential date on Flinter, the online dating app. Be careful. If you annoy them, then they may still choose to block you. Flinter can be accessed from Squidly's computer at his desk in the bullpen of the police headquarters. Seems like a terrible place to do that. How about Dex? We could talk about Dex being there for a bit. Uh, no, we already got. Oops. All right. I don't know what's upstairs, and I don't care. Let's get to, to investigating. Unlocked most of the places already. That's interesting. Uh, Alright, ganglands. Let's hustle over there. You are on the mean streets of the ganglands. A burning car at the side of the road reminds you of just how dangerous this place can be. Alright, head to the crime scene. Ah, oh, hello, Squidly. Glad to see you here. Well, not glad because this is a crime scene but i am glad to see you in this sad location so what happens what's the haps with the crime scene uh 500 hours this morning we received an anonymous phone call reporting a body hidden in this dumpster the call was traced and found to have originated in the city hall sanitation department sanitation eh? i'm gonna have to check that out okay the body was later identified as Lieutenant Dex Beagler, the most famed crime buster in the Metropolis PD. Okay, any theories? Hmm. That voice makes me on. I don't know why. That's a very weird trigger. <laughs> so, Sarlap, what do you think happened here? Uh, as an officer of the law, I feel duty bound to deal only with the facts and avoid hypotheticals. If we allow the law to be steered by flights of fancy and imagination, then that's no justice at all. Uh-huh. I admire your principles, man. Uh, yeah. Then please don't pr pass remark on your administration of my behavior. It may distort my impartiality. Okay. Tell me about the body. The Denim Beagler body was discovered in this sanitary receptacle in a state weird in the state uh, um, I'm becoming a man of his gravitas it appears that several wounds have been inflicted 
varying in types from stabbing to crushing. Of course, until a full autopsy has been performed, it would be I would be remiss of me to speculate on their cause. An autopsy say? How would I arrange for one of those? Autopsy facilities are generally available in the Moontropolis Police Headquarters Crime Lab. However, since the sudden departure of the latest coroner, they are currently suspended. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if I could perform the autopsy myself. I mean, how hard can it be? He's already dead. Okay. Tell me about the anonymous tip-off. Hmm, tell me more about this anonymous call you received. The person who reported this crime is a telephone located in the City Hall Sanitation Offices. Okay. That's all the information that I have. No theories? Oh my god. I don't know what it is about doing that guy's voice that's suddenly making me just yawn. I think it's like how I'm tensing my jaw or something. It's very weird. It's very strange. No theories, no names, nothing. Further um, information, the best course of action would be to inquire at City Hall. Alright. Get this body out of here. We can't just leave Beagle lying in the dumpster. Certainly, sir. Where should we send him? Uh, to the crime lab. It's time you get an autopsy. Immediately, sir. Alright. Okay. Parting salutations to you, Sergeant Squidley. Alright, well, we've got some searches here. Let's let's do it. We get that one automatically. Hey, Sarlacc, get over here. Yes, sir. What's that big gray building over there? I believe that's the Underworld Club, sir. A nighttime establishment run by known criminal Big Mama Zod. That's the Underworld, eh? Big Mama was no fan of Beagler after you put her in prison back in the day. It might be worth paying a visit. We already have that info, but good to know. Search the dumpster medium. Yeah. It's just a little crash. Oh wait, this coffee cup is still warm. I can't make up the name of it, but it came from the Krusty Donut Cafe. The long shot, this could be have belonged to Beaglar. All right. Do I feel like going to the Underworld entrance yet? I don't think so. I think if anything, I want to try and sneak in there. You know, I don't think, um, I don't think walking in to, like as a cop is going to do me any favors. So I feel like my best course of action there would be to find uh, another outfit. So I can trick my way in there. Check out the pawn shop here. Uh, you are in the Hughes pawn shop. Every corner of the interior is stuffed with some kind of junk. Most of it broken. A moldy smell fills the air. Let's talk to you. Ah, a customer. Welcome to my humble shop, sir. How may I assist you? Do you own the shop? Why, yes. Yes, I do. This is Hugh's Pong Shop, and I am Hugh. Hugh, eh? How do you pronounce that? Exactly as it is spelt. <laughs> you know, when I first opened this business, it was an antique shop. I hope to attract some high-class clientele. Maybe give the area a bit of a boost socially. Unfortunately, that did not play out as I had intended, as I'm sure you can very well see. Still, I have made a home for myself here, and I hope my little shop proves to your liking. All right. Any trouble working in the gang lands? The gang lands are a pretty rough area. Do you have, uh, ever have any trouble with the, uh, well, gangs? No, none at all. I've been here for several years and so far I've been extremely fortunate. Perhaps local youths can see what I am aspiring to do to the area and sympathize with my cause. Perhaps. Uh, Jack Beagle was killed just around the corner from here. Do you know anything about him? Oh, is that what that uh, terrible fuss in the alley was about? I do wonder why they closed it off. I forgot to put the vent on the cover on. 
No, I can't say I've heard of this Beagler fella. Was he some sort of local ruffian? Wow, just gave up on camera. Didn't even try and follow me. Didn't even try. Ugh. Okay. He was a cop, actually, and quite a famous one. Uh, my apologies, I'm afraid I don't keep much abreast of current affairs. Sure, why are you squeaky? Unless they write a book or an opera about him, I'm afraid I'd have no idea who he is. Okay. What do we got? What can I buy? A saxophone. Jigsaw puzzle. Dark star physics. Oh, interesting. That's, that's by that uh, scientist. Okay. Oh, we're not buying anything right now. Okay, to the city. Getting hungry? Better eat something sooner you'll become starving. When Squidly is starving, he'll suffer a penalty to all his skills. If he's starving for too long, terrible things might happen. <laughs> Alright. Uh, ooh, discount clothing emporium. Okay, let's go to the donut place first. We can get ourselves some food. Amongst other things. Redeem the loyalty card. I've got 10 stamps on this loyalty card. I'd like my my free coffee. Coming right up. Sal becomes my acquaintance. Hot damn. There we go. You've eaten a meal. Squidly needs to eat food occasionally to stave off hunger, but not all meals are equal. You can always get free food at Squidly's apartment, but it won't be as nutritious as the food you pay for. Okay. The ideal breakfast, coffee. Well, we are a hard-boiled police officer. All right, let's talk to. Let's talk to Sal. Hey there, big spender. So you bought some coffee. What do you want? Oh, it's business. Uh, I can't complain. You cops are keeping me in business. That said, I could always use more for so feel free to buy some more stuff sometime, eh? How long you worked here? Why? You checking my immigration papers? I've been here a long time. Okay. Eagle ever come by? Who? Oh, Mr. Big Shot Fancy Cop? Yeah, he used to. Back before all the fame went to his head. Now he thinks he's too good to be seen with the old Sal. I have reason to believe this cup belonged to him. It's from here, right? Oh well, yeah. That work of art on the side is our logo. If it's his, though, he didn't buy it himself. Who would have bought coffee for Dax? Interesting. Okay. Holy crap, that's Tony Fort Myers. Big fan. That's nice. Can we autograph? No. All right, cool. All right, good talk. <laughs> I mean, if you don't shoot the shot, you know. Yeah, let's see if we can get ourselves an outfit. You're in the discount closing emporium, a palace of bargain price clothing. The shop assistant, Shelly, stands bored at the counter. Talk to her. <sighs> yeah, I can help you. Do you like working here? Classic Tony Fort Myers. I know, right? He's just so cool. But also has that don't give a fuck attitude, you know? Uh, how do you like working here? It's fine, I guess. Pays the bills and I don't have to travel too far from home. Okay, cool. Good talk. All right, what do we got? Oh, 
Oh, I really want the Leisure Suit Larry outfit. I need 50 more dollars. Salesman, street casual. Street casual can probably get me into the club. How you doing tonight, Dancer? If only I'd help that nice gentleman. <laughs> uh, get changed into... No, not yet. God, I... I really do want that to pay out. Uh, I don't need to go to the Gigantoplex right now. Okay. Uh, let's go... Let's check out City Hall first. You are in the main lobby of City Hall, the political epicenter of Moontropolis. This is where all the big decisions are allegedly made. What's this going to tell me? You're getting tired. You better go to sleep soon or you'll become exhausted. When Squidly is exhausted, he will suffer penalties on his skills. Okay. It's 5 p.m. How am I... Well, you know what? No, I'm, I'm not even going to finish that sentence. I know why I'm tired. Welcome to the Metropolis City Hall Educational ter Terminal. Educating people about the great city. How is he tired? I know. I, as soon as I started saying it, I know. Uh, does this game have tasteful nudity? I feel like I have to ask that for all the games recently. I have no idea, Dancer, but given the art style, I don't know if it's going to be tasteful if it's there. But I also don't know if it would really qualify as nudity either given the pixel density, so who knows? Do I care about learning about any of these things right now? No, I don't. Let's head to the sanitation department. You are in a tiny office, not much larger than a cupboard. Dusty Borgulak. Borgulak? Is rearranging pins on a complex collage of notes on the back wall. Okay, examine the back wall. Looks like a complex web of conspiracy theories. Try to follow it. Yeah! Well, it's taken a while, but it seems to be something about a vast conspiracy running through the fabrics of Moontropolis. It's centered around hiding the fact that the chief isn't actually a qualified police officer. Interesting. Okay, let's talk to Dusty. Sergeant Squidly, right? Don't ask how I know that. I have my sources. It goes all the way to the top. Is this going to be like um, the ending of... Oh my god. Is it the first Ace Attorney? With like Chief Inspector Cross or whatever? Is that number one or is that number two? The Wii version? No, no. This was on the DS. This was handheld, baby. I guess technically the Wii was also sort of handheld. Sort of. Uh, what's with the stuff on the walls? What's with all the stuff on the walls? I was thinking second release, but I forgot uh, Ace Attorney was on GBA first. Yeah. But that is the one that had, like, Chief whatever his name, Cross, right? That depends. Why are you asking? I'm investigating a murder. I'm investigating a murder of Dex Beagler. I'm looking for clues. Huh. A, uh, cop, eh? Agent of law enforcement? I choose to invoke my right to remain silent. Okay. Interesting. Ever near where Dex Beagler died? Did your work ever have uh, ever taken near the spot where they found Dex Beagler? No comment. Alright, alright. I'm not gonna try and steal any keys. Hey, hey, sanitation workers only. Alright. You get the car next week? 
Uh, congratulations and commiserations, D3. Enjoy all your literal freedom and lack of freedom due to all your money being gone. I know I'm pushing at being tired. I'm hoping I can talk to... Oh my god, I can go to my own house. Oh no. Okay. You stand in the driveway of Dex Beagler's house. Uh... I guess I'll admire the garden. Hmm, it's definitely one patch over there. How suspicious. Dig of the mound. Okay, I need I need a shovel. Hello, can I help you? Miss Beagle, I am Sergeant Squiddly. I'm investigating your husband's murder. I'd like to take a look around inside your house, if you don't mind. Of course, Sergeant. Come on in. You're in the hallway of the Beagler family home. The gleaming white walls and dark fixtures give it a futuristic aura. Um, let's start with the living room. You are in the Beagler family's living room. A comfy leather sofa sits across from a large TV. A trophy cabinet overflows in between. Fuck. All right, let's try and scoop the sofa. All right, I can feel something between the cushions. Huh. An ID card for a research lab in the name of Gary Groverson. But the picture is of Dex. What could it mean? That is interesting. Uh, okay. To the hallway. We've got to be judicious with our time before we get exhausted. Uh, let's check out the kitchen. You're in the Beagler family's kitchen, full of the most modern appliances. Dorian stands... Or stands near the table, which is covered in lunch boxes. Talk to her. Can I help you, Sergeant Squidly? Got to test premium versus regular. The engine is uh, rated for ninety-one. Yeah, no, but you're not. Mm, you're really not going to notice the difference between premium versus regular T three. Don't don't spend the money. You're really not going to notice. You can run premium that has a cleaner through your car like once in a while. Uh, just because you can help like clean out a little bit of gunk. But like that's like once every three months kind of thing. Do not just put premium in your car uh, for no reason. Especially given it's like 10 to 15 cents more like a liter. Don't do that. Um, so let's start with I'm sorry about Dex. I'm so very sorry for your loss. Dex was a good man. Thank you, Sergeant. I really appreciate that. You want to test leader leader comparison with range? Yeah, but that's a hard test to do, T3, unless you can check. Like, driving conditions change day to day. It would be difficult to test that accurately. Did Dex have many enemies? Oh, come on. We all know exactly who did this. Why waste time with this stupid dance? My husband spent months undercover in Big Mama Zod's gang. He even had her arrested. Even though that court case fell apart, he still had an awful lot of dirt on her, and she knows it. And now Big Mama's running to be mayor, and suddenly my husband turns up dead outside her nightclub. You should be down at the underworld right now, putting cuffs on Big Mama, not hanging around here bugging me. Even ignoring driving conditions, you would basically have to run the car to gas and test it properly? Yeah, yeah, no, T3. You could look that up. If you really wanted to, someone somewhere has probably already done a premium versus regular uh, test with your car. I'm sure you could probably find that data somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. Really? 
Thank you, thank you. You're the first cop to listen to me. Oh, hell yeah. What's the lunchboxes? Oh, those? Those are for my job. I work for Mavenhead Incorporated. Do you know them? No. Well, basically, the CEO, Chris Man Manhaven, sells me these lunchboxes at a discounted rate. Then I go door to door and sell them to customers for profit. Oh my god, an MLM. I get to be my own boss, and hopefully when I've raised enough money, I uh, can recruit more sellers. It's literally an MLM. Does the business bring you much money? Oh yeah, sure. I'm selling plenty of lunch boxes. I mean, I haven't broken even just yet, but I invested all of our savings into this. It'll take time to earn back. Chris says you have to spend money to make money. Okay. As he is a boss. Well, it's my boss. Chris is the only my supplier. And he's been great. He's always quick to send me lots of new inventory and is very encouraging. Uh-huh. Nix was never fond of him, though. He was sure he was trying to scam me. They had a huge fight one time. I thought they were going to kill each other. But that's just Dex. He was only looking out for me, really. Alright, keep it up. Okay. Uh... Is there anything else you need to talk to her about? Or did I do it all? Okay. I think I did it. If not, we're moving on. Okay, check the master bedroom. You are in the master bedroom of the Beagler Residence. A comfortable king-sized bed is complemented by sleek, minimalistic furnishings. Uh, check the wardrobe. Ooh, Dex Beagler's spare homicide uniform. Well, I am investigating a murder now. So, okay, so yeah, you found the numbers. So it's a three miles per gallon, uh increase I mean hold on t3 though that's it makes it can make a difference yes but that's in a probably a brand new car um your car is not <laughs> so your the the gains you're gonna get are even gonna be less than that I'm taking this suit No, we're not getting changed into right now. <laughs> that would be insane. Walking out of this person, this house with the person's uh, dead husband suit. Uh, okay, check the lockers. Ah, I got his desk key. I wonder what this unlocks. All right, hot damn. Should I go into the kids' room? I don't think there's going to be anything in the kids' room. Ooh, a difficult investigation. Should we try and do a difficult investigate? Let's do it. I remember this campaign. Dex Beer was literally the poster boy for this Moontropolis ad. DJ must have really admired this old man. Dang. It's cool that you can retry it, but I'm not going to burn the time. All right. Okay, it's 9.40 p.m. Should I go visit my old home? <laughs> or should I just go home? I think perhaps I go home. Stay at the garden of uh, the Squidly residence, home to Mona and Milton Squidly. Oh, go to the shed. Wait, wait, wait. Hell yeah. Take the shovel. All right.
Uh, breathe through the junk. Oh, here's Newton's first and only drum kit. Okay. I'm not gonna check the other stuff right now. Ring the doorbell at 10 o'clock at night. Oh, dang. Squidly, hi. It's kind of late. Can you come back tomorrow? Okay, well, she didn't lose her gourd, so that's, that's something. Uh, okay. I'm, it's, we'll check the playground later. Alright, I think we head home for... Oh, wait, no, no, shit, no. There's one more thing I want to do. Since we're here... Uh, sorry. Based on my commute and the battery life, I'll likely not use a drop of gas during the day. You'll use some gas to start the car, if I recall correctly. Like, um, and by the way, that's one of the things that Apocalypse movies get wrong. Uh, gasoline and diesel have an expiry. Yes, yes, they do. There have been Apocalypse movies that have touched on that as a way of explaining why people don't have cars in the movie. All right, what's in the mound? What is it? What's this? A little shoebox. Something inside. Sprockety doodad. Sprockety day. Oh my, oh my, what a wonderful day. That movie is wicked problematic. And I only recently learned that's where that song came from. Okay. Sorry, you guys can use gas? Oh, cool. Oh my god, it takes me 50 minutes to get home. Oh, Jesus. Oh no, we're tired and hungry. Okay, go to the apartment. Let's get ourselves a snack. Small gum is stuck to the bottom of the bed. It's still got some chew left on it. Okay. That did better than I expected for it being gum. Okay. Uh... All right, let's go to bed. It's already past midnight. Who stays up past midnight? Sleep until morning? That, mm, okay. <laughs> ah, I got universal basic income. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, change clothes. Maybe I put on the street casual today. Just for a nice day off. Except I'm not off. Get ourselves another snack. Have a water popsicle. That's just ice. All right, but now we're full. Do I practice my saxophone some more? Not today, not today. Maybe today, not today. Let's see what you have in the old post receptacle. Is this? A letter from the bank. We ought to be pre approved for a high interest loan. Jackpot. What a haul. Okay. Okay, I'll swing by my house. Hello. 
Glad you didn't see you actually turn up today. Bill waited all morning for you yesterday. Hi, Dad. Hey, son. How's things? Just have him home before 8, okay? What should I do with him? What should I do with him? Is he old enough for a driving lesson? He's 8 years old. Bring him to the playground or somewhere else fun. Just be a decent father for once. <laughs> he said you ever seen a dead body. Again, if we were a dumber character... <sighs> Playground, eh? Sounds good. You ready for some fun, son? Just be sure to have him here before 8 o'clock. Okie dokie, Milton. Let's go have some fun. Alright. Sure, let's go to the playground. Hey, Dad, can I go play? Yeah. Go for it. Yay. Better not forget to take him uh, with me when I leave. Or maybe... <laughs> you were on Metropolis Playground. Milton is happily entertaining himself with various swing slides and other attractions. Play on the swings. I'm coming to join you. Let's make a memory. Let's make a core memory. Sit a little while. I'm sorry, did you, you just let your kid play for an hour? <laughs> also, why am I tired? I just rested. All right, call him back. Is it time to go yet? Yeah, let's go. Time's done, play time's over. Come with me. Oh. Alright, we gotta go. Sorry, kid. I have to drop you off. And get back to solving a murder. It's really high. Gotta drop off the boy. Sorry, I've got a murder to solve. It's still kind of early, isn't it? You couldn't have taken him up for a full day. Sorry, I'm a busy guy. How's your day, Milton? I don't want to talk about it. Well, that's not encouraging. He played at the park for like two hours. What are you talking about? Anyway, I gotta run. See ya. I am not a good dad in this game. I'm not a good dad in this game. Anyways. Okay, what do we want to do here? Oh my god, there's so many people. So, what have I got on my inventory? Just for, oh my god. Tiny key, so we should go to the office. There's the labs. Got a warrant that I don't need. Shovel. Weird doohickey, my badge, and a coffee cup so far. So we can bring, we can get into his, let's get into his, uh, oh, we can also perform the, the autopsy. 
which I hope is upstairs. photo. Hey, what's this? A framed photo of a young boy. What who he is? It looks like this photo was taken in the ganglands. Huh. Okay. See if we got any new anything. Alright, nope. Okay, let's try going upstairs. I'm hoping this is where the crime lab is. The smell of justice wafts through your tentacles. Or maybe it's just air freshener. Alright, to the crime lab. You stand for the Metropolis PD crime lab, where the finest minds of science to solve crimes, in theory, is currently completely unstaffed. Well, you know what? Let's search for crap. Lab coat. Received scientician. You know what? I will change into the scientician outfit. Search the cabinets. <laughs> Cologne? <laughs> All right. Fuck it. We're performing the autopsy. We're doing it. Good thing I'm dressed for this. Dexter's body is well preserved and in good condition. This should be easy peasy. Oh my god. Thank god they're all actually easy wins. I might be able to do this. Okay, first examine. Guarantee a win on that one. The body appears to be covered in crushing injuries. There's a pattern to them. It's familiar. Of course, they're tire tracks. He was crushed by a vehicle and not the hovering kind. Alright, focus on the head. Yeah. Just need to cut here and... Success! I really missed out not being a professional autopsy guy. So examine it. Skull crushed, but there's not much as much blood as I expected. He was already dead when he got this wound. Examine that brain. Hell yeah! What's this? Brain shows signs of sudden hemorrhage. Something like this would have been fatal. Stop focusing on head. Focus on torso. Woo! Coming to Millhouse. I'll just make the primary incisions and... Perfect. Clean as a whistle. Oh my god, that's so many. <laughs> at least I'm good at these. Examine everything. The heart shows buildup of cholesterol, consistent with a fatty diet. Yeah. The lungs. Okay. Strong, healthy lungs. Dex probably got a lot of exercise. Stomach contents. Stomach still contains his last meal. Coffee and donuts. It has been digested. He ate these just before he died. That's actually going to be relevant somehow. His kidneys are in excellent condition. In fact, people might pay good money for a nice pair of kidneys like this. Says, no, Squilly, that would be illegal and immoral. What were you thinking? Okay, don't know why I need that, but I got that. Okay, that was good forensicing. Oh, sure. Let's analyze coffee cup. 
Okay. I cannot use the chemical analyzer until I clean it up. All right. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's head to downtown again. We're gonna get uh, ourselves a meal. So we stop at least being hungry. A cup of coffee and your finest donut, please. Coming right up. Hey there, big spenders. She brought some coffee. What do you want? Okay, nothing new. I have to make him my friend. Oops. Ah, shit. How was I all right? Oh, you know what? Whatever. You burn through food quick in this. Okay. Uh, I could buy that other outfit and then try and go to the other world. Dress myself as the disco guy. Oh, never mind. Apparently they close at six. minutes to head home. Yeah, let's just do this. We'll get changed. I don't know if it's going to matter. We're going to try and go into the other world now. a nondescript steel door on the side of a large warehouse. The letters UW are painted on the wall. Knock on door. Break in. Don't break in. Okay. Hmm. Gonna be honest, that's not what I expected to happen. Okay. Maybe it'll be open later? Do you know what that means? We gotta practice our saxophone. Oh, hold on. We're tired. We're actually tired. snack. You pluck a spoon from the sink, which still has a thin coating of food on it, and give it a suck. That sounds awful. And now we're gonna go to bed. So eight hours, I guess, is giving us good rest. And we wake up at, what, 7.15? 7.15... Is that still eight hours right now? Ten. Yeah, so sleep until morning should be fine. Nice. Fully rested. Mm. 
Let's get this practice in. Let's max it out. Hell yeah! I don't know why, but we've mastered the saxophone. We're in street casual right now, right? Maybe we just stick in that for now. Okay, get ourselves a snack. We slept all night. What do we do here? It's already Wednesday. We're not solving this crime. birthday card. Hell yeah. Thanks, Richard. Happy birthday. Okay, what should we do next? Try going back to City Hall. And, uh... Talking to that person again. Now that we're not in, in our cock clothes. Oh, she's not here. Screwdriver. Cool. not here right now. All right. Okay, let's try going to the mayor's office. You were in the office of Mayor Famaggio, the political leader of Moontropolis. Mayor sits at his desk pretending to work. Talk to him. Ah, oh, hello. You are one of my citizens, I assume. Welcome. My office is your office. I live to serve. Okay, I'm from the cops. Oh, goodness. Are you here about the photo? Yeah. That's why I'm here. Remind me of the details, though. Word round town is that the gutter journalist Pippi Free has acquired a compromising photo of me. I won't bore you with the details of the photo itself, but needless to say, it could ruin my election chances. I tried to contact Dex Beagler to sort it out, but, well, you know. I thought all hope was lost, but then you arrived like my knight in shining armor. Uh, yeah, sure, that's me. She probably has the photo hidden in her room at the Crystal Spire Hotel in Uptown. Do you know it? Yes. No. How do I get in? How do I get into Pippi Freed's hotel room? I'm afraid I'll have to leave the details of that up to you. I'm sure you'll manage, though. I do have a warrant. What's the photo of? So I'll know when I see it. I'd rather not discuss that. As a wealthy man, I have many hobbies some would call bizarre. Rest assured, you will know it when you see it. Is there a reward? Yes, yes, of course. I'll reward you handsomely. Handsomely? Can't pronounce words anymore, apparently. Alright, I'll get to it right away. Oh, whatever you do, make sure Big Mama's Odd doesn't get her hands on it. If there's one person you can probably trust less with than Pippi Free, it's her. Okay. So how's life of me going? Oh, it's a lot of hard work. A burden of public surface is a heavy one to carry. But when I see the smiles on my satisfied citizens, then I know that I've done a good job. That's why I hope I can count on plenty of votes in the mayoral election. Wink, wink. How's it going? 
The polls say it's quite close at the moment, but I'm sure I'll reign victorious in the end. Moontropolis citizens are far too smart to vote for a criminal like Mama Zod. Alright. I mean, I can't search his desk. He's literally right here. Yeah. Can I get a, what's useful at the courthouse? Steal the gavel. <laughs> yes. What business do you have in my court? Did you know Dax Bigler? Did you know Dax Bigler? Any information you can give me? Who do you think I am that I would just give out private information about an ongoing investigation? is most unprofessional. I'm working on the case. My name, name is Sergeant Squidley, Your Honor. I'm working on the Dex Bag uh, Beagler murder case. Ah, I see. A terrible case. Beagler was an excellent police officer. I hope we can work together to bring the perpetrator to justice. Alright. So, tell me more about him again. Yes, I worked with Dex Beagler for several years. A fine officer. He put away many dangerous criminals. I will always regret that we never managed to nail down Big Mama Zod. Months of undercover work wasted. You must have worked alongside the man. What did you think of him? Sure, he's a good cop. He'll be sorely missed. He certainly will. Perhaps his legacy need not die. Fight hard, Squidly, and bring his killers to justice, and you could be the next Dex Beagler. Now we're friends, eh? Alright. Okay, didn't mean to click this like that, but okay. Oh, there's a bank. Interesting. Oh, I guess because I could get a high interest loan <laughs> from the bank. Uh, you know what? Let's visit Uptown. We haven't been there yet. And we at least have a reason to be here now. You stand in Uptown Square. All about you, the great and the good of the city. Mill about this gentrified utopia like fashion conscious worker ants. Oh, there's the bistro. Oh, high fashion. Busk with saxophone? Hell yeah! Time to put all that sax practice to good use. We're good at this. We're goddamn professionals. Nice! Almost doubled my income for the day. Alright. Uh... Okay, let's go to the hotel. Let's see if we can get this picture. You are in the lobby of the Crystal Spire, the fanciest hotel in all of Moontropolis. A crotchety old porter sits at the reception desk. I want to talk to him. Old man Ricketts. Welcome to the Crystal Spire Hotel. This is a classy place. Cause any trouble and you're out. How are you doing? Do you like working here? None of your business. Alright. To her suite. Well, I guess nobody's home. Damn it. I can't just break in. <sighs> okay. Maybe we could try the research lab? Haven't been there yet. Security Chief Chloris. Yeah. 
How you doing? So, how you doing? I'm on the clock. I don't answer non work related questions on work time. Okay. What do you do for fun? This. Okay. Hey, excuse me, do you work here? Yeah, I have this ID card. Yeah, but you're just like a random guy on the street. Where's your lab coat? Okay. Alright, fair enough. Well, now we have to, right? Like, we have all the necessary bits and pieces to do this. Closes for the day. Yeah. Good day, Doctor. Could I please see your ID card? Certainly, here you go. Doctor. Groverston? Did you get a haircut or something? No, oh, well, head on in. Ah, Renya. Oh, I should have bought your book. <laughs> Shit. No. Oh, hello. You must be the new research assistant. Yep. That's me. Good old research assistant, assistant Swizzy. That's great. Gary's work really hasn't been up to scratch. I'm glad that you could replace him so quickly. But where are my manners? I'm Dr. Raina Speckle. I'm the head researcher here. I'm so fucked. He'll be working with Werner. Werner? The other lab assistant. You can find him at his desk. He'll be working at Gary's desk. If you have any questions, Vernon and I will be happy to answer. Okay. 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 Well, let's start with the desk. You're the desk of Gary Go Groverston, the undercover alter ego of Dex Beagler. Okay, well. Search everything. It's just a little stationery. It looks like Dex chews pens. Wait, this pen has a logo on it. Vortex Inc. Watch your profanity. Did I even swear? <sighs> I think I've been fairly swear free uh, this stream, other than a few. <laughs> ah, there we go. We unlock a new area. He has a mini disguise kit in here, a bag of fake mustaches, wig, and a mirror. That might be useful. Okay. It's like always having a picture of a handsome squid in your pocket. Okay. Chicken beer. It's locked. God damn it. Leave it alone. Okay, let's try talking to Werner. This is the workstation of Werner Strobel. It's organized with an almost robotic level of sterility and precision. Talk to him. Ah, guten Tag. You must be the, uh, what, what, how, hold on, crap, I, I, hold on, what's the German accent again? What's the stereotypical German accent again? Ah, guten Tag. You must be the new research assistant. I don't know, this is Russian, this is not, no, no, let's try again. Why can't I think of a German accent right now? This is wild. My brain is just absolutely blanking on generic German accent. Oops. Okay, well, we're gonna try. Maybe, you know what, maybe Vernon doesn't actually have an accent. Despite all indications to the, to the uh, opposite. No. Uh, guten Tag. Uh, you... Oh my god, I can't do it. Why I am absolutely blanking on this is wild. You must be the new research assistant. I hope you are more skilled than your predecessor. This is kind of French, but we're going with it now. Okay. 
What do you do here? What do you do here? I am a research assistant like yourself. But I should be more, yeah? I've never... I, I don't know what's happening. I just... I'm really... I'm gonna have to look up accents. <laughs> because I'm just... Uh, several weeks ago, a uh, world-changing theorem came to be in, to a, in a dream. I think I've sort of found it. I, I wrote it down quick, so I would not forget it. No, I've lost it. Now it's a bit more... Polish. It was wunderbar. But then, the next morning, I accidentally threw it in the recycling. Now, I can't remember what it was. Now I'm French. This is wild. I was so close to being a rich and famous scientist. Okay. You don't like Gary? That Dunkampf knew nothing of scientific method. I asked him to pass the potassium iodide, and he passed me a bottle of potassium bromide. Bromide is not iodide. Everyone knows that. But you must excuse me. My temper has been raised. I trust you will prove far more competent. I don't know why you would think that. It was all like work for Raina. Oh, she is wunderbar. In a uh, completely professional sense, I mean. Why? Did she ask about me? Okay. Oh, well, let's go to her station. Maybe it's bedtime. Poor Vu T3. Speaking of. Okay. Uh, let's read the notes. I'm sure there'll be some useful information in these notes if I can put them to the right order. Ah, got it. Uh, it's instructions for the main reactor in the experiment chamber. There's three dials in the reactor controlling three factors. Fuel input, coolant level, and vacuum pressure. These factors must be carefully balanced so that the output level is in the green uh, range. Failure to calibrate the output level into the green range will result in reactor failure, followed by a shutdown. Warning. If your output is calibrated into the red level, the result will be catastrophic reactor meltdown. This would best be avoided. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that, or would I? Okay. <gasps> do some studying. Hell yeah! You can raise stats. I studied for a long time there. Holy crap. Squidly, need any help? What should I be doing? What should my job... Oh, of course. Excuse me. My head's all over the place lately. I forgot to give you any work. Well, the first thing you do for me is head into the experiment chamber and calibrate the reactor. Uh, okay, cool. Seems like something a tired and hungry non-scientist should do. The parameters tend to drift, and if it ends up in the red, well, kaboom. As long as you do your job, hopefully it won't come to that. Hopefully. Okay. Tell me about Gare Bear. What can you tell me about Gary, my predecessor? Uh, Gary Groverson? He was a nice guy. A little bit pompous. Terrible scientist, though. That guy couldn't tell Photon from Quasar. How he got his doctorate, I'll never know. I called the agency to replace him because it really wasn't working out. He was really hindering us. It's almost like he was trying to do a bad job. just like that, a bunch of pieces fell into place in my head. Anyway, the agency were really quick off the mark this time. You showed up just a few days after I called. That's a pretty good omen, if you ask me. Is this thing familiar to you? What? Oh, my. That's the regulator module from the black hole generator. Was he in the pocket of big energy? Uh, yeah, I think so, actually. Without it, the reactor can't be recalibrated. I can't believe I left this lying around. I really am a, a scatterbrain. I must be overworked. Well, it needs to be reattached to the main reactor in the experiment chamber. 
It's a delicate job, but I'm sure you're more than qualified. To... I am not. I am. I am not. No. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess we go do this now. You're in the laboratory's main experiment chamber. In front of you is a, gi a gigantic reactor. There's a small control panel on the side. Examine. There's a hole here. Looks like some bits are missing. I think the sprocket you do dab might fit. I don't know if I can do this, but we're gonna try. Let's see. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. I think I need at least three handiness to do that. Yeah, it's handiness. So I don't, I literally don't think I can do that. Unless I can figure out how to get that skill up. Two points. Uh, by tomorrow. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, I, I literally, I can't. Oh, she's not here. Well. I don't know what that's for. <gasps> We're neighbors? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, there's like nothing I can do, huh? Yeah, I literally can't. Because it's, uh... Let's try one more, just for giggles. But I'm pretty sure I just literally can't. Yeah. Hey, Vern, are you still here? So I'm not going to be able to fix that thing at all. What can we do here? Maybe just go to bed right now. Sleep till morning. Yay! Okay. I'm very hungry, though. Get ourselves a garbage snack. Okay, we'll solve that later. to do next. I feel like I'm going to have to fail this once or twice until I get all the puzzle pieces. Which I think is fine. Alright. We're dressing like a real cop today.
She's not home, eh? Okay, let's rummage. This seems unlawful. Okay, read the notebook. Goes from the lab. Looks like Gary Groverson was causing a lot of problems. And there's some calibration data for the reactor. The optimal settings are 5, 4, 3. Okay, if I have that information... Can I do it without the thing? Oh, pretty girl with the dark blue hair. How I like you're standing there. I think you are very pretty. And you make my heart go flitty. Okay. Oh shit, hold on. I I guess I have to go back in my lab coat, right? If I'm gonna try and do this. Let's see if we can do it anyways, right? Excuse me, sir. Hey, free. Moon Tropolis News. Do you work here? Oh, Squidly. I didn't know you were a scientist. I thought you were a policeman. I'm lots of things. I don't dare tell me I can't be. Excellent. Do you have a few minutes to explain the Black Hole Generator Project for my viewers at home? No. Well, maybe next time. I'll be waiting here. Into the lab. Uh huh. Yeah, we did this already. Oh boy. Ah, Squidly, glad you're here. We're about to switch on the reactor. What do you need me to do? Bert and I have the start procedure covered. Would you mind watching and taking notes? You wouldn't even know I'm here. Great, sorry, I'm very nervous. Guys, this isn't gonna work. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hopefully this doesn't explode. Sorry, buddy. The experiment is a failure. Hey, do you want to install this thing that I couldn't install yesterday and try again? So, I think that didn't go with plan. What gave that away? Still, I suppose it's not a complete loss. We didn't achieve stable energy production today, but the science behind the concept is sound. We'll just have to dust ourselves off, recheck the calculations, and try again. Okay. Back to work? No, not straight away. I don't think I could look at another reactor right now if you paid me. Now I think oh, we're going to close the lab for a few days and take some time off. Okay. Thanks, Whitley. See you around. Okay, so... That's just not a thing we can do with our current build. Right? Like, it's just not happening. Um... I think that that note exists to avoid making the check, but you were too late. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's true. Yeah, I guess I could have gone back to the lab, gone in, and set it. Hmm, okay. 
You know, let's just try and go into, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Nope. Uh, Crystal Spire. Oops, I didn't mean to do any of that, but you know what? That's fine. I got a fancy hotel keycard. See if we can do talk to her. No one's home. <gasps> Go to the gym. I can get my I can get beefy. Let's just get ourselves a snack. Good food. I want to know where I can learn handiness. Probably City Hall. If that person, the sanitation person's there. And I can convince her. Yeah, so I've already screwed with her. There's no way to make her trust me. streetwear. I don't know. I don't know what to do next. We're kind of at a standstill with this. I guess I could go to the space station. We haven't been there yet. Talk to Chives. Good evening, sir. How may I assist you? Can I go in the space station? Do you have... Or do you possess a station pass? No. Then no. Sorry, who are you? I am Chive, sir. Chief manservant to my esteemed master, Stefan Vortex, and his family. Cool. Must be really important. Yes, I very much am, sir. Did Dex Beagler ever come by here? I'm afraid it would be rude of me to discuss any visitors my master may previously have entertained. Man, what is it with me getting just absolutely blocked by butlers? I'm sure you understand, sir. Professional courtesy. Hey, you going to the gardens? Okay, I can't go in there. Cool. I never tried going to the club at night. That's true. I did not try doing that. Let's go to the bank. We haven't been to the bank. Uh, you're standing in the dingy alley next to the bank, Moontropolis, which is closed. Investigate for a way in. Should I break into the ban bank? <laughs> I feel like my lack of handiness is really kind of hamstringing me. No, that's not what my character would do. That stuff doesn't change. I wanted to check. I 
Okay. 9 p.m. is too early. Let's get some coffee. Keep ourselves fed. Oh, Crisp and Judge are both here. Oh, this is the um, the MLM owner. Oh, hello, hey, um, pull up a seat. Chris Manhaven, business tycoon. How can I help you? What sort of business? No, oh, you know, big business, small business, medium business, all kinds of stuff. It's very complicated. Can we talk about Doreen Be uh, Beagler? Has a lot of lunchboxes with your logo on. Ah, yes, Doreen Beagler, lovely woman. She's one of the top sellers in my plastics division. She's been making big money selling my lunchboxes all over town. Terrible news what happened to her husband. No, I must say he was not fond of me. Not a business mind, you see. Thought I was leading Doreen astray. But Doreen's loss may be your gain, if you forgive my crude turn of phrase. I need a new salesman. I'd be willing to take a hands-off approach. You would essentially be your own boss. All I would require is enough for a deposit of $100 to cover the cost of your stock. What do you say? We become a business associates? Get bent. No. Oh, well, that's a shame. If you change your mind, the offer stands. Personally, I think only a chump wouldn't want to get rich. Hiya, Judge. Sergeant Squidly, always a pleasure to run into you. Okay. How late does it have to be before it's open? You think midnight? I don't know. I mean, we can go home and nap for four hours, I guess. Oh, you're right. I can just wait on the world map. That's a better idea. <laughs> okay, there we go. I guess I only used to do that twice. Oh well. There we go. Okay. You can come in. I'm glad not showing up looking like a cop was the correct avenue. Um. Hey, Speckles here. Squidly, I don't really feel like socializing right now. So what went wrong? What do you think went wrong with your experiment? I don't know. But I bet Stefan Vortex had a hand in it. He's been out to ruin us from the start. Well, mission accomplished. Sorry, I'm just being bitter. You look sad. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing important. A project I put a lot of effort to just didn't pan out as planned. I guess I just have to dust myself off and start over again, but it's very hard right now. Okay, bye. Werner's here. Do I care to talk to Werner? No, it's just approach the stage. What do we got? <gasps> I can microphone. Hold on. You stand in front of the underworld stage. As there's no live music tonight, the stage is empty. A jazzy playlist is playing over the PA. Oh, I'm absolutely gonna play. Time to show them how to really jam.
An incredible performance, exactly. We're very tired. Well, what's up with you? <sighs> Nothing. Just thinking about the experiment. Okay, bye. Okay, I thought I'd be able to talk to what's her face. By coming here. But, uh, nothing. I want to talk to him. Okay, never mind. to do now. Like, all of my leads kind of just petered out. Take my kid to the movies. I'm basically done for the evening. Oh, okay, he's not here. There he is. Hey, buddy. What do you need these days? No stuff. What do you have to? Nothing. How's life? Fine. Good talk. Talk to Mona. What do you want, Squidly? How's Milton doing? He's sad, Squidly. He doesn't always show up, but he is. All he wants is your love and attention. You're not giving it to him. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Hell yeah, I found my wallet. Well, all right. I don't know. I've, I've sort of petered out here. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Good waste of 10 minutes. No, no, yeah, my leads have kind of just kind of dried out. Okay, I'm dressed as a cop. What if I go to the space station dressed like a cop? Okay, an invitation for the gala, which we don't have.
prison cells. We never went here. Let's see if there's anybody in here. Mm, shifty blob. Hey, man. Hey there, Sergeant. How you doing? Um, good, I think. Great, great. It's excellent to hear. You have to look after yourself, you know. Listen, my name is Blob. Shifty Blob. Through a series of events out of my control, I find myself locked in this cell. I was wondering if a lawman like yourself could please, uh, you know, let me out. Are you a criminal? Ah, uh, criminal? Little old me. Listen, Sergeant, uh, what's your name again? Squiggly. That's a beautiful name, Squiggly. Did I tell you that that was the name of my favorite uncle? But I digress. Sergeant Squiggly, is it a crime for the space lion to eat the space antelope? I'm sure from the antelope's point of view, it might be. But you and I, as evolved and sophisticated men of the world, can see there is no crime. That's nature. You cannot call the space lion a criminal because he does the things that all space lions do. Do you understand? Is this guy just libertarian? Are you saying you're locked in here for eating a space antelope? You know what? Let's drop the metaphors. You strike me as more of a literal kind of thinker. If you can go get a release form, then you should be able to open my cell and I can go home. If you do that, maybe I can help you with something too. Okay. Let's talk to Gorb. Good day, Sergeant Squidly, sir. Any breakthroughs? Uh, a man matching Lieutenant Beagle's description was apparently seen entering the research lab. Could be a case mistaken. Yeah, we already did that. Like, we, we already did all that, so... Okay, let's try going to the Chief's office. Talk to him. Well, if it ain't Squidly hanging out my office, you got a reason to be here. No. Yeah. the bistro I'm just going on a date I'm just trying all the mechanics in the game Rena you came oh hello Squidly picked quite a fancy venue for our date haven't you I suppose a uh, touch of class can be nice now and then maybe we should order food soon later hey, Rena are you okay you zoned out for a second what oh sorry I just had an epiphany about white dwarf stars I'll write it down later do you ever think about the big questions in the universe? I wish I had bought her book. That probably would have made me a shoe in Sure, all the time. Who are we? Where do we come from? Where are we all going? Who knows? Me too. It's like an addiction. The universe is a book. I just have to know how it ends. That's why I became a physicist to begin with. The hope that someday I can find the answers. I tried to put all my ideas down in a book once. Dark Star Physics. It didn't sell. There's probably about six copies in circulation on the whole moon. The rest got pulped. That's a shame. Sounds like an awful lot of work went to waste. It was a learning exercise, I suppose. Also, I think Vortex Inc. might have had it suppressed. It wasn't exactly complimentary of their research. A good evening. Can I take your order? Yes, let's eat. Hunger fully replenished. Oh, that was delicious. What did you think, Raina? Doesn't sound like a Luigi to me. It's quite nice. Not very authentic for as Venusian cuisine goes, though. I've had the real thing. And now the bill. Good lord. <laughs> $500. Oh my god. 
Let's do it. I'll take care of this. Thanks, Willy. You're a real gentleman, aren't you? Well, I try. Do I want to give her a gift? I also want to put this game into rotation just so that we can try different runs where I choose just the worst possible actions every time. You know? You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. I can't believe this. You, st you stole this poem. It's one Verna sent me to review last week. Oh, wow. It, we've, uh... Even camera, camera was disappointed in me. Okay, cool. Sure, I just spent $500 on this. It's fine. I'm not destitute. It's okay. I'm glad we did it. Yeah, this is not a successful run. You know what? Let's go. There's one other place I haven't, like, kind of poked around in. Let's go to the lockup. <gasps> Break down the door. Yeah! Now we're just playing fast and loose. You are in the evidence lockup. Rows of shells filled with the paraphernalia of Moontropolis and many crimes. Check the heavy box. Okay. Looks like somebody recently opened this one. Space fish venom. Jeweled watch. Damn, box. Shampoo. Now this is police work? Yeah. Okay, so we've just pilfered all that. Now I'm just screwing around, you know. Okay, go to the crime lab. Can you use this? No, I still can't do that. Okay. Oh, you know what? That shampoo probably could have been a gift. Because she uses the same... Uh, it, it's known that she uses the same shampoo as us because we broke into her home and found out what shampoo she uses. Let's try going... Oh, wait, no. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try going back to the underworld. One more time. about yourself, Brick? Oh, wow. Nobody ever asks about me. Uh, what do you want to know? What are you up to? Um, I guess I like busting heads. <laughs> yeah, that's my hobby. Hey, talking with people is fun. Well, you work here, buddy. Um, one, three, eight years. 
Okay. Oh, okay. There's Nurse Tad. Oh, hello, strange squid thing. What do you want? Tell me about your work. What's it like working in the hospital? Oh, you know. Varies. One day you're stealing a credit card from some stiff's wallet, the next you're illegally trading organs. That was a joke. Unless you actually have organs to sell, then come see me at work. Okay, well, alright. <clears throat> Nurse Tad, secret uh, sphincter hospital. I'm trying to enjoy my evening while being chatted at by a squid thing. Okay. Hey, Gorb. Sergeant Squidly, good evening. What are you doing here? I didn't think this was your kind of scene. What? No, I guess it isn't. Uh, I could arrest half the people in here if I had a mind to. And then probably shut this place down for fire code violations. But I just really like the music here, the jazz. Something about it just speaks to me. You know, I'm something of a jazz musician myself. Oh, what do you play? Saxophone. Not to brag, but I'm kind of a rock star. You'll have to play it for me sometime. Maybe later. I don't want to put the musicians to the same. Oh, it's this guy. Hey, Tony, Tony! I guess you can't hear me. We gotta try and join the band, right? Time to show them how to real jam. Hey, cut that out. You're interrupting Mr. Fort Myers. Oh. I guess we can do a little dance. Oh my god, I passed four hours? Oh, interesting. If I dance to his music, I just get like a free day. That is also good to know. Okay, well, speaking of it being midnight, We're just going to call it here. Is that a full quit? I have an empty window right now. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. And switch back to here. Okay. Well. Um, that was Sergeant Squidly Space Cop. What a neat game. It's very reminiscent of those old, old like, choose-your-own-adventure uh, books. My hotkeys are not working properly today. I don't know why. Um, you're a big fan? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I like it. I might have, we might have to bring this back into rotation. Uh, oh, sorry. I went to the Steam page and that's the phone ringing. I got very confused there. Um, I mean, the game like just landed. Uh, like literally 4th of July is when it came out. Um, it's like 20 Canadian on, uh, on Steam. So... I mean, if that's if that's something that interested you, by all means, go pick it up. Uh, and I'll say now before I forget, thank you once again, Press Engine, for uh, uh, providing me with a key for the game. It's super entertaining. I actually really love the art style um, of the game. It's very, again, reminiscent of like old school games, but obviously it isn't. Um, because in a game that old, you would have had to type in all of your questions <laughs> uh, to get anywhere. Um, it's, it's very tongue in cheek, but I don't know I, I'm actually pleasantly surprised that the game is not 
It's not crass, as I was kind of expecting it to be. Cam, are you following? You're not following, are you? There we go. Like, I was, I was expecting there to be, like, a lot of just, like, cheap humor in it, and there's not, actually. It is a funny game, but without resorting to that, which is, uh, refreshing, I think. Um, I like how there's a, obviously a bunch of different avenues you can go in that game. Um, like, you can just not solve the crime, and I think end up being, like, a saxophone player, or maybe, like, fix your family life or something like that, which I think is really kind of interesting. Plus, there is actually what seems to be a complex crime going on, and I think I beefed it by uh, approaching that person um, as a cop, because they, like, they don't trust me at all anymore, and I think I could have probably gotten a bunch of information or leads from them that I just wasn't going to get otherwise. Um, and we also beefed at the reactor, because I think, Pokemon Trick, I think you're right. That like getting... Mm -hmm. Going into our apartment, getting those numbers, I could have probably gone back to the reactor and fixed it. Um, without having to have installed the doohickey. So, kind of double beefed it on that, but oh, well, it is what it is, right? Um... I think the game, I think it's neat that the game actually does have like a hunger and tired meter to it. And it's not super hard to navigate with it, but it is still something you have to take in consideration. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I think it's a really neat little game. Uh, the dev team on that should be pretty proud. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Ooh, excuse me. But it is midnight and I am tired and I have a long day tomorrow. I've got... Well, kids, and also a wedding to attend. So I'm going to be a tired boy tomorrow. So uh, that is going to do it for me uh, tonight. So first, let's hop over here. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to uh, TikTok. Bye, TikTok. Mm, there we go. Bye-bye. Bye. Um, okay, there we go. And yeah, that's going to do it for me tonight. Um, I don't know if I have any bonus streams lined up. I, I don't think so. I can't imagine doing anything. I don't have other games in the pipeline right now. Actually, no, that's not true. I have one that I might get. And uh, but we might see that next Friday. I said I'm going to a wedding. Yes, the, end, the wedding isn't going on until like 9 p.m. at night. Um, well, I'll just be tired. <laughs> so... Uh, I don't think I've got anything in the in the hop for anything kind of, kind of bonus, but um, officially, I guess I'll be back Monday with I don't know what. We're gonna have to have a conversation about that, Pokemon Freak, unless you want to have a week off. We don't have anything lined up for Multi Monday yet, but uh, anyways, I'll be back on Monday with something. So uh, with that, we're getting things. So let's say week off this time. Okay then I'll figure out something to do on Monday. Uh, but that's going to do it for me tonight. So, as always, thank you, of course, for watching. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, be kind, and try your best out there. Bye-bye.